Everybody here watch the Grammys. Watch Grammys, Peyton? Yeah, I did. I watched a little bit of it, and I enjoyed it. Good. I loved everyone's outfits. I thought everyone looked great. Suzette, by the way, homesick. She's sick. Her baby's sick, so she stayed home. Peyton filling in for her. Kyle, you liked the Grammys? I thought they were decent for an awards show. I liked how um, uh, Noah... Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah. Why couldn't mm-hmm. I? Th- I couldn't think of his name for a second. I like how he was like. I want you to think of the show as a concert. You know, where we're kind of like giving awards out, and that's say, really what it was. Yeah, I didn't really look at it. It didn't seem like it was award, award, mm-hmm. award, award, award. Right. It was like more. They were trying but to performance. It's like they were trying to get ratings because yeah. people don't want to see best sound. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah they started thought- off early with a big award with the with the best song. They started really fast with that one, which we called on this very show. Because Silk Sonic performed first, we said they would get the award for best song. Oh, you said that. Yeah. Well, Good I'm job, the Rich. Credit. I'm Why? The you said credit. I think I said Olivia Rodrigo. Us, <laughs> within the four of us talking, you said that. But well, I thought it was great. I even, maybe there's something wrong with me, but I cried a few times. Cried? <laughs> you did? I, I what? Did. When? I, I cried during the Lady Gaga thing. I thought she was astounding. Her performance? Yeah, when she gave did I that kinda... little tribute to Tony Bennett. And then the the memoriam when they came out and said a play, sang a place for us. I thought that was stunning. With uh, it was um, Rachel Ziegler. Yeah, when she came out and sang, and they showed all the people that have died. Um, oh. And then you the, cried. Yeah, I really did. in your feels. I thought Rich. it was so pretty. <laughs> like That's I would like that version of that song. I thought it was so gorgeous. I watched West Side Story. Right, I've seen it twice. And um, when they were doing that part, and she came out to sing, I didn't know if that was her or not. I was like, is that the girl that played Maria from West Side Story? Is it not? I couldn't tell because when she made West Side Story, she was like 16 or 17, mm. and now she's like 20. Okay. So I couldn't tell if that was her or not. So now that you said that, because I, I was kind of, I was on a little bit of a delay because I paused it for a little bit, went and got some neat, came back, and I fast forward. So I kind of fast forward through that part. So I wasn't really sure if they announced if that's who that was. Did they? Is, was, I don't uh, know I mean, if they announced it. I, I mean, I, I knew it was her. I recognized oh, her. Oh, I didn't recognize yeah. her. Yeah. Um, I, I don't thought, know who the other people were, but they were phenomenal. I thought I, I didn't cry at the Grammys at all. I mean, I was like, <laughs> I thought like when Doja Cat, like she was hilarious when she came up for her speech, and yeah. then when she got really emotional, knowing the fact that yeah. like you know what what was that a couple weeks ago? She was like, I'm quitting music. Yep. This isn't this life is not for me. And then to be given the biggest award mm-hmm. in music, and she was like, I like to downplay stuff, but this is this is big. And then she kind of like let herself take in the moment i was Uh like wow that's that's a big deal that was very special and i like bruno mars and anderson pack when they got up there and they did their thing they're just like this is called the clean sweep (laughs) (laughs) i thought bts performance that was was amazing yeah Yeah. well nas x was really good too that Mm -hmm. was real good Mm -hmm. energy was 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 show it was a good show i i mean it was entertaining though I, I thought they closed it out with the Brothers Osborne. Like when they said, we got one more performance, Brothers Osborne. I was like, okay, good night. Oh, yeah, I didn't uh, watch that either. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. That's like logging off. That's a good clue. Thank you very much. I can go to bed now. Don't need to see that one. <laughs> so, you know what's funny, Rich? You say you cried. I did. So I'm not, um, I don't think I've ever like watched a romantic movie and cried. What? At a romantic so movie. I've watched sad movies and cried, right? But I will tell you this, season two of Bridgerton, I finished, and I'm watching the last episode, and I follow this whole storyline, and the last episode, I am bawling my brains out. I'm I'm crying, and it's like tears of happiness, because this couple got, got together, and it was like, I, I can't even explain it. Like, I actually was like lying to myself. I was all by myself, and I was like lying to myself, like... Well, there's something in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I go, oh my God, I'm literally crying over these people right now. It was, it was such a good ending. It was though. such a great it ending. Really was. I was so into the ending of the I mean, show. I wasn't crying. But... I was crying. And that's the part I'm talking Kyle about. I was, like, cry. I was like, I don't think I, I'm trying to think of all the romantic movies I've seen, the Julia Roberts movies, the, mm-hmm. and, I'm, and I'm trying to go over romantic movies. The and Notebook? I, Notebook, I didn't cry. What? Are you kidding me? I did not cry at like, the Notebook. How do you Are you not cry? Stone? I was bothered at the Notebook because I thought the casting was terrible. <laughs> so that's all you could think about? It. I don't think James Marsden, I don't think Ryan Gosling looks like 
James Garner who died at the end. Uh-huh. I think the other guy looked like James Garner. You are right. And that's what that. bothered me the whole movie. And I said but that the to- story. I would be, but I was bothered by the casting the whole time. You said that to who? I said that to, I think it was James Morrison. I think we had that actor yeah. on the phone with us. Or maybe yeah, Ryan Gosling we had. Was. Right? It was. I think it was James Morrison. Yeah, and I said that to him. And that's what bothered me about that movie. And he just that's laughed. <laughs> I, just, I just finished episode one of season two of, Br- of Bridgerton. Mm-hmm. And- it's so good. I'm very excited to catch up and oh, finish it. I think it's yeah, so it's much really better than good. season one. Really? I felt like season one, there was a lot of sex, and that was what everyone was talking about. Yeah. Right? And of course, the actors was the actor was good, and he was so sexy, and it was yeah. like, oh my God, are you watching the show? And this is like, these characters develop, and you're like, why? I mean, it's just so good, isn't it? It was. And the whole Lady Whistledown stuff, and her friend, like, every storyline on this season is really good. Oh, I can't wait to get into it. I also, know. I think like- I think there's eight episodes, and yeah. I think it's seven. I'm like, how are they going to tie this all up? Is this even going to be a happy ending? Same. Shonda Rhimes, what are you doing? Same. Here? <laughs> and, then, and then did you see, I posted this thing on my Instagram, because I saw the girl, Hassinth, she did, she's the youngest daughter. Yeah. She posted this TikTok, and oh, it was yeah. all of them in their in their Bridgerton clothes doing a TikTok dance, and I was yeah. like, what? <laughs> like, part of me was like, they had phones back then? <laughs> <laughs> and then since then, I've seen the Queen and Lady Danbury out of out of their normal clothes doing stuff, and I'm like, huh, no. this is so weird. <laughs> like, like it's just weird. Like, the, the lady that plays the Queen, like, how do you not have attitude all the time? I know. <laughs> how do you not just walk around and be like... I'm the queen. Yeah. Right. Like so, <laughs> season two is so damn good, man. But anyway, and I started following Kate. You did? Yeah, Miss Sharma. Oh, she's, and so, she's so pretty. She's so pretty, man. Yeah. She's so she's talented. Gorgeous. And I'm trying to find out, like, does she have an accent? Does she not have it? Because you know. She does. She does? Okay. Yeah, I watched a, an interview of her and him. Such a good the show. The trio. <laughs> but where Rich dr- cried at the Grammys, I cried at Bridgerton season two. <laughs> A lot of tears this weekend. I know. Lack of carbs, I think, for both of us. Need some hugs. And then um, Rich and I went to uh, went to see Billie Eilish on Saturday night. I have to tell you something too. I I, I always wondered something about people, and I have discovered Rich is one of those people. So we were in this suite. We had the iHeart suite, right? And uh, Rich and his daughter were in the front row, and there was nobody else, nobody else there. And I was, I just wanted to see one song, have her wa- wa- sing one song, and I was going to get the hell out of there, right? And I'm gonna fi- and I want to film Billy Eilish when she comes out. And Rich, you are that guy in the front row. All that is in front of you is glass, and you stand up. And because you stand up, you make everyone behind you stand up. <laughs> and, beca- and you get in my you're literally everybody at the concert was standing. Yeah, up. but there's nobody in front of you. <laughs> like there's no reason for you to stand up. Unless what do you mean like there's dancing no along reason along to stand with her, Yeah, but it's know. like the concert starts. There's people sitting like, several rows behind you. Several and, rows, but not right behind me. Right, right. But because of where you are, I, I even put it on my Instagram because I'm like, look at, look at, you're disrupting my view because you're standing up. <laughs> All you had to do is move slightly to I the right. I couldn't move because there are people next to me. There are people next to me. I'm like, wow. I've always wanted to know who are these people that are standing up that's starting. The, it's like the people that start the traffic jam. <laughs> who are the people that start the traffic jam? What? And I've been working with one the whole who time. Sits oh my gosh! Down in a concert I when mean, it's like when it's like I'm, Billie Eilish comes out and it's explosive. I'm with you, you Rich. Much move. Oh. I'm well, like, with you. At the and, slow songs, okay, sit down. Sure. Then I'm like, why are you still standing? Like right. I mean, this is the chill part and, of the. Ugh. But like when there when it's a danceable moment, you have to get out of here. When she seat. comes out and the lasers are going and everything's like just. Bumping mm-hmm. you if you're sitting down. <laughs> in fact, Audrey even said to me, she's like, "You better not be sitting down." She's like, "Oh my I god, like, go stand somewhere else." Because everybody, <laughs> you, like, everyone behind you, behind me. everyone, behind, it was us behind you. Like in the suite, we're like, "Oh, oh man, we got to move because Rich is standing up." No, no I swear on my life, <laughs> on my life, those seats are so far down. Yeah, but, not but that where tall you're, of a guy. you're standing, I. Could, I I showed you. I put it on Instagram. My point of view, wherever I was standing, there was Rich's head. <laughs> it was in the way of Billie Eilish. Well, we had a good. Everybody else in the stadium that was standing had a good time too. <laughs> Billie Eilish though, did not win a Grammy, but she won an Oscar the week before.